Bible Basics Q&A with Professor Pete. Hello again. Peter Sibilio here from Lord's University. We love your questions at Annunciation Radio, and it's my pleasure to help with some answers. Today's question comes from Paige, who asks, Was Paul suicidal? No, Paige, but I see why you ask. In Philippians 1, Paul writes, To live is Christ, but to die is gain. What shall I choose? I do not know. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body, for your progress and joy in the faith. So we see that Paul never comes close to killing himself, but we aren't sure exactly where or when Paul is actually writing Philippians. We aren't even sure if Philippians is all one letter. We do know that Paul seems certain his time in jail will lead to salvation. What he might have to choose is what to say in his defense. Were he to renounce his Roman citizenship and denounce Caesar in favor of Christ as a prisoner of Christ, whom Rome killed for treason, well, this might seal Paul's fate too. But Paul counsels the Romans not to resist Roman rule. He takes advantage of his Roman citizenship to appeal to Caesar, and that is how Paul gets to Rome as a prisoner. So his emphasis in Philippians 1 is to give it to God. Should Paul die, he will be with Christ. Should Paul live as he suspects, he will be with the body of Christ on earth. Though death would be a private gain, Paul prefers life so he can give it to God and the Philippians, and that is a clear lesson for us today. Whatever dark corner we encounter, the light of Christ must touch through us. So whether at home or at work this week, let's think of one way to be light for others. Paul did it for us, so we can do it for them. And your question helps us do so, Paige. Thank you so much for it, and thank you all for listening. We are listening to you.